Today we're going over, in the next episode of Better Together at English with Shin Rai Sensei, we're going over what some would classify as the sixth vowel, and some just classify as a consonant that is just odd. I just like to call it the fake vowel, the letter Y. Now, the letter Y is a fake vowel because there are the very few exceptions in words in English that exist without a vowel in them feature the letter Y. And the letter Y makes many sounds similar to other vowels. So the letter Y will make uh, an I sound in some words. The letter I will make, you know, the letter Y will make a short I sound in some words. The letter I will make a long I sound in some words. The letter I will make a long E uh, sound in some words. And the letter I will, or the letter Y, I keep saying I, I'm sorry. Um, the letter Y makes a long E sound, a short uh, E sound, a long I sound, a short I sound. It really depends on the word that you find it in, right? So, in the case of Y, it's, it's really hard to explain as to why, no pun intended, no pun intended, but it's really hard to explain as to why the letter Y is such a, an enigma. Um, really what it boils down to is more than likely we needed some gaps in language that as we were creating the English language, more than likely some gaps existed where the regular vowels didn't really seem to make sense where they were. And the letter Y does have some historical precedent in, uh, the languages that kind of gave rise to English. And so the letter Y just kind of popped into existence, right? But... The only time, the, the reason that I consider Y to be a fake vowel, but it doesn't, you know, it still kind of goes with the vowels, but it's fake vowel all at the same time, is the only, sorry, the only words that exist in English without a vowel feature Y. Think fry, try, things like that, right? When you deep fry something, right? Or when you fry it in a frying pan, right? Fry, try, things like that. That is really why Y is kind of an honorary vowel to some. Um, I call it the fake vowel, but it's kind of an honorary vowel for that reason. And so the only words that exist in the English language without a vowel, without a vowel in them, feature the letter Y. Which is why, once again, no pun intended, that, which is why the letter Y really needs to be kind of somewhere in the middle between a vowel and not a vowel, right? It needs to be considered its own category altogether. Technically speaking, if you wanted to say that there are no letter or there are no words in the English language that do not feature a vowel, then by that technicality, Y needs to be recognized as a vowel. But if you are going to be okay saying that there are some words in the English language that do not feature a vowel, then you can easily write Y off as not being a vowel. But it really depends on your perspective whether or not Y is a true vowel. Uh, I think that pretty well sums up the letter Y and how it relates to vowels. And I hope that cleared things up. Once again, if it didn't, please leave a comment section, or sorry, you don't have a comments section to leave me. I have the comments section, you leave the comments. So please leave a comment in the comments section. And uh, if you do have any concerns about my lessons or you want me to clarify something that maybe I didn't do a good enough job explaining in an episode, please, even if it's not the video that you are trying to view, right? Please leave a comment in any of my videos and I will try to address whatever your concern was from any video. I look forward to hearing from you guys in the next episode. Uh, and in the next episode, we'll be expanding more into some other English lessons 
to hopefully give you guys a better understanding of English and we'll see what we can do for you as far as learning English as a non-English speaker, right? But today we have summed up all of the vowels, if you include Y as a vowel, um, and if you don't, then we just kind of did an extra lesson that's a fake vowel, right? I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.